Okay, good morning everybody. This is the uh, Patty here with a reading for Cancer for the month of September 2017. I already did my prayers and I laid out the spread. I'm going to be using the Tarot of the Orisha cards for the initial reading and we're going to get messages from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck by Kim Dreyer. And as usual, we'll be getting uh, messages also from the Romance Angel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so um, as we started the reading, um, let me just give you what, we, what I got at the bottom of the deck for you. Cancer was Ogun. Okay, Ogun talks about being a warrior, a fighter. Okay, this talks about triumph over, of good over evil and talks about working with nature. Okay, uh, things in the earth, plants, even metals, uh, rocks, things like that. So that was at the bottom of the deck. So this is about being a fighter, standing up for yourself. Um, the card that was at the bottom of the deck of the conscious spirit was the flames of wisdom, the crone. Okay, and this talks about I am open to all of life's wisdoms and share it with gratitude. Okay, so this talks about learning and sharing. Okay, maturity, knowledge, wisdom learning from your experiences and the card at the bottom of the romance angel deck was deception someone is wearing a fat a false self mask in this relationship okay so this is talking about this being being uh, deceptive not being true to yourself and not sharing with your partner if you're um, upset or worried or scared or frightened and you don't tell the, per the people around you, you don't tell your, your family members, you don't tell the people that you love or the person that you love then you're being deceitful okay if you're having issues, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling out of sorts if you're afraid of, of whatever you're fearing it's best to be open about that. Tell somebody about it. And uh, allow the people who love you to help you. Allow the universe to help you. Okay, well we can't help if we don't know. All right? You have to be willing to open, be open to love in order to receive it. Okay? Anyway, that's what I got from those uh, bottom of the deck cards. So let's look at your first card from the Tower of the Orisha by Zerlon and Zerlock and Durkon. Okay. This was the element of air. Okay. And this talks about messages and communications. This talks about um, maybe having to take a test. All right. This also talks about divine messages and dreams. All right. So again, communication. And the card that you received from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck was Third Eye Chakra. Okay, this talks about your intuition, self-reflection, trusting in yourself, trusting in your intuition. When you trust your intuition, you, re re you learn how to release your fears. Okay, so... I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom to my life. Okay, so trust your intuition. Trust the messages that you're being sent, the divine messages that you're getting. Okay, Cancer. The next card that you got in the reading was Oshun. Okay, Oshun is a Yoruba um, Orisha and she covers love 
and science, intelligence, okay, um, she is a sensual, seductive lover, very passionate, okay, she talks about femininity and love and hidden knowledge, all right, second card that you got from the Conscious Spirit deck was Celebrate Life. Celebrate life. How beautiful. It says, I celebrate every day by honoring and respecting all life on Mother Earth. All right, so what I'm getting this is that you need to appreciate the beauty of life, okay, what's around you. Life is beautiful, even if you're feeling depressed right now, cancer. There are things worth living for. And there are people who love you and who are willing to help you. Um, this would be maybe a, a, a hmm, fire sign, female, that might be in your, in your um, life. She could be your mother. She could be your girlfriend, your wife, a sister. But she's willing to help you. She loves you. And she knows a lot more than she's letting on. But you have to share with her. All right? She's not reading your mind. But if you give her the information, she's more than willing to help you. Okay? Next card that we got was Five of Earth. Okay, this talks about sacrificing. Sacrificing yourself, maybe. All right, throwing yourself. You know, just, just becoming a martyr. Taking on too much. It also talks about transformation, it talks about change, okay? So there are things that you're experiencing now that you're experiencing because you need to go through a change. And as, th as rough as things are, all is not lost, okay? You feel like you're going backwards, but that's because you haven't paid attention to the lessons, okay? These things are happening around you for a reason, Cancer. And the card you got here was Root Chakra. Mm. I have everything I need to survive and grow in a physical plane. Root Chakra. So to me, this is saying, these cards are saying that there's things that are bothering you and you're depressed. You're ready to Throw, throw in a towel, throw it all in. But these, there's a reason that you're going through this and there are things that are bothering you in your, in your soul, in your psyche. Things from your past, poss possibly from your childhood and it's building up. And you need to deal with these things. You can talk about them bring them up, you know, seek some kind of help and guidance, uh, use the tools that, that are available to you, including the people around you who love you, including divine intervention, call on your spirit guides, call on your ancestors, ask them for help. Try to see what you can get to the root, if, try to see how you can get to the root of the problem. Because it's not just what's happening right now. It's something that you've been bringing with you. Okay? And you have to solve this or else it's going to continue to come up in your life. You have to deal with whatever it is. Okay. The next card. <laughs> Ten of air. <sighs> okay. This card, Ten of air, talks about loss. Economic loss material loss, loss of someone close to you, past pains. Mm. The crystals, I'm sorry, the conscious spirit oracle deck talk, okay. <laughs> Crystal ascension, that was the card that you got. It says, I am attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the Crystal Kingdom. Crystal Kingdom. 
Okay, so. The things that we use to communicate, emails, um, cell phones, uh, computers, there might be too much of that in your life right now, Cancer. And maybe what they're asking you to do, what they're directing you to do, advising you to do, is to get, get some crystals in your life. Bring some crystal energy into your life and turn off the computers and the TV, the microwaves, cell phones, detach from those things around you and bring some crystal energy into your home, into your workspace. And crystals, the way that um, I was introduced to um, bringing a crystal into my home, bringing crystals into my home, is I went to a store that sold uh, crystals, you know, usually a botanica, places that uh, do mystical work. Um, any of those kind of stores um, and go into the store and see the crystals that they have and see if any of the crystals if you feel attracted to any of those crystals any particular crystal that you feel uh, some kind of affinity to that's the crystal for you and bring that crystal home there are people who specialize in in that type of work and but I know that you will pick up uh, uh, energy from the crystals. When you're looking through them, one of them will appeal to you more than the other. That's the one that you should take and bring it home and, you know, work with it, clean it, uh, empower it. Um, there are ways to do those things. But you need to get, I'm, I'm sensing that you need to get away from the, all this artificial uh, means of communication and start communicating with your spirit. Start cleaning out your area, your aura, and let um, yourself be more communicative with your loved ones and also with the divine. Okay, asking for help, seeking answers, looking and delving into your past um, childhood experiences, the things that you may be holding on to but not really um, paying attention to things that you may have even forgotten that went on in your in your life but these things are still affecting your psyche and that may be what's uh, leading to the depression that you're feeling right now cancer okay so the next card that you got nine of fire okay nine of fire and it was in the reversed position okay this talks about a delay and spiritual activities okay wasting time wasting time not doing what needs to be done for your spirit and the conscious spirit oracle deck gave you two cards the first card being abundance beautiful I'm grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provide in my life Okay, I say. And the second card that you got from the Conscious Spirit Oracle Deck was Find Your Bliss. I'm following a path I love and I'm fully aligned to my soul purpose. Okay. So, together, these three cards, to me, is speaking about um, true abundance is not found in material things, okay? It's found in nature okay and it's found in the loving relationships around you all right follow your dreams follow your dreams and follow your passions don't use your attractiveness to um to gain materially all right because you'll never find true love and happiness like that don't take more than you need. Show gratitude. Show gra gratitude. The universe will support you if you follow your passion and share with others.
Mm. All right, Cancer. All right, so the next five cards um, will be the Orisha, the Tarot of the Orisha deck, and then we're also going to be using the Romance Angel Oracle cards to see if there are any other messages or les lessons for you today, Cancer. Fairies and Sylphs. Okay, this talks about poets and writers, teachers, um, artists. All right. And the card that the Romance Angel sent you is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And in this situation, I'm thinking that maybe you need the messages. I'm getting the, uh, the feeling that there's some depression going on for you, Cancer. And so what I'm getting with this message with these cards is that you need to maybe write it down, write down what's bothering you, write some poetry, do some art, express your inner turmoil, your feelings, use your creative gifts to uh, open up the path for the work to begin, okay? Staying optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith would bring you romance and bring you peace also. Okay, you have to stay optimistic. Things are happening for a reason. There are lessons to be learned, but you are not being abandoned. Okay, you have love and you have your ancestors and your spirit guides who are looking out for you. That's why you're getting this reading today. And I want you to be uh, sure of that. Okay, you can visualize yourself doing the things that you love with the people that you love. Be creative, Cancer. Be creative, all right? Um, you can even create a vision board, okay? Um, share your experience and share your knowledge and your expertise with others, all right? The next card that came up in this reading for you was the Ten of Earth Reversed. Okay, this talks about a loss, loss of uh, material goods, loss of finances. Also, be, could be talking about loss of a close relative, a family member, a friend, someone you love. All right, so maybe that's why you're depressed, Cancer, because you've lost someone you love, and that's understandable. Okay, that is understandable. The card that you got from, oh, wow. Or uh, the Romance Angel Oracle cards said trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes, Cancer. All right. This, um, these two cards together is telling me that the love that you desire can only be manifested through having faith. Okay, and, 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 and having and being grateful, okay, having gratitude for what you have, being grateful for the blessings that you have gotten. All right. It's not always about complaining about what you don't have. It's also acknowledging what you do have. And gratitude and faith work will work wonders. All right, it'll uplift and and and, 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 and gratitude attracts positive energy. All right, so faith will uplift you and gratitude will attract positivity back into your life. Um, next card that we got for you here was Oshumari in the reverse position. Okay, in the uh, Yoruba tradition, Oshumari um, signifies God, creation, all that God has, all the healing in nature, everything, the beauty around us, okay? In the reverse position, it talks about having a lack, a lack of faith, it talks about uncertainty, slow healing. And the card that the Romance Angel Oracle deck sent you was soulmate, 
Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. So this is telling me that someone around you, someone that uh, you may have suspected, okay, and maybe someone that you had a past relationship with that may be back around you. You may have missed out on those signals about that before, but this time you're going to be able to find that true love because you're being given an opportunity again to heal, okay? So if you were asking, if you weren't having faith, if you thought that you lost the person that you loved, if you thought that they were gone, they're not gone, they're there. But they ha you have to reach out to them, okay? You know who it is. You know who it is. So communicate to them. Tell them what's going on. Let them know what's bothering you. Let them know why you're sad. Let them know why you're anxious and uncertain. They're there to help you. That's why they're back in your life. Or that's why they're around you and have never left. They're there for you for a reason. The next card that you got was the Seven of Earth. Okay? This is talking about harvesting what you have worked so hard for with someone that you care about, with your family and with the people that you love. Sharing with the ones that trust you. All right? And the ones that you trust. Finances and career. Okay, Cancer. So, with these two cards, finances and career, finance issues are a factor in your love life right now. All right, so this is, again, talking about balancing material goods with love, all right? Using the tools of prayer, the tools of faith and gratitude to bring about balance in your finances and in your love life, okay? Again, use those crystals. Learn how to use those crystals to, to balance out uh, your, your, your environment bring positive energy around you. You can even carry a, a crystal in your pocket. They make them small enough for them to be in your in your wallet or in your pocket. Look into that. That will be very helpful for you at this time. Okay. The last card. Oh, the last card that you got in this reading. You got a group of cards which were the Five of Air and the Babalorisha. Okay. So, this talks about hidden dangers, false friends, fake people around you, all right? And this talks about having all the tools that you need to do what you have to do to protect yourself and to discern, all right? This is uh, like the magician card in the regular tarot. So you have all of the elements there, everything that you need to protect yourself and to free yourself from false friends and hidden dangers. And the last card that you got, uh, free yourself. <laughs> the last card you got was free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Exactly. Okay, so you have the tools that you need to protect yourself, to free yourself from this depression, from these bad experiences that you've experienced with these fake friends, all right? You have the tools that you need to protect you from hidden dangers, all right? You have to be open to dealing with the past emotional hurts and um, take back control of your life, okay? Those people that hurt you, those people that did things maybe unspeakable things to you when you were a little kid. You can't let them win if, 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 if you destroy yourself, if you lose faith, okay, if you turn away from love, then this person who hurts you is continuing to control your life. And it's not necessary because you have the tools you have the tools that you need to bring 
abundance into your life. And you will find your bliss, definitely. But you have to go back to having faith. You have to have faith. You can't le let that slip from you. And wasting time not doing and not seeking the answers, not doing the work. You have to do the work in order to be able to reap the benefits. Okay, you have to do the work in order to get the healing. And you have to open up and you have to share with your partner. You have to tell them what's going on. Okay, so I did um, pull a card for you from the Until Today deck by Ayala Van Zandt. And this was the card that we got. When I was told the truth of who I am, I cannot receive the truth of what I want. Ashe. Ashe. Until today, you may not have realized that the thing you want is the thing you most resist. Just for today, be willing to be honest about who you are, what you feel, and what you want in every situation. When I withhold the truth of who I am, I cannot receive, receive the truth of what I want. If you want love and honesty, if you want a partner that you can trust, that you can put their faith in, that you can work together to build a future, you have to be honest about who you are. You have to open up and let that person know and let them in. Don't hide it. Don't keep it to yourself. It's dangerous. It's not a good idea. If you're depressed, cancer, I implore you, please, talk to someone. Uh, there are counselors there. There are 800 hotlines out there that you can uh, access. There are people in your community, pastors, priests, um, mental health workers, doctors. If you, you, most doctors can refer you to a psychiatrist, a psychologist, all right? They're also social workers. This, um, this female in your atmosphere, she may be a social worker, she may uh, be a social psychologist, uh, psychiatrist. She's a smart, intelligent person, and she may have resources and be able to help you uh, tap into the resources that you need to keep, get help at this time. All right. Cancer, is some, it's of vital importance that you um, take it seriously. All right. Don't let your depression set in. Uh, don't let uh, it overtake your psyche. Okay. All right. And don't let it keep you from being honest and sharing with the people that are concerned and those people around you. All right. So. I hope this um, message resonated with uh, you today, and if it didn't, I know it was a message that was meant to be shared so that the people who are being affected at this time um, can get some help and do something about it. A lot of different energies out there right now, especially having had two eclipses last month and all of the... Uh, destruction of the hurricanes and the earthquake uh, in Mexico and the flooding and all that we've been contending with these last few months. Um, so there is a lot of uh, that kind of negative, depressing um, energy in the air. And for some people, especially sensitive people like you, Cancer, are affected by it maybe more than others. So I'm asking you to please, um, if this reading uh, resonated with you, please uh, like it, share it, make your comments, also share it with other people. Um, somebody needs to hear it, all right, and if you're loving somebody and you recognize this is going on for them, do what you can to direct them to the correct sources. Um, you can light a white candle for yourself or for your loved one to give you clarity. You can write, light a blue candle to bring uh, health, bring health to the situation. Um, again, get some crystals, bring crystals into your home, clear out the negative energy, burn some sage around you, 
clear out negative energy and sit down and be truthful and honest and speak the truth. Stand up for who you are. Be yourself. Stop trying to show uh, a, 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 a mask, a different face to the world. We're, we're not seeing who you really are, Cancer. And, and that's a shame because you're beautiful. You're sensitive, sweet, smart. And you need to be supported. And there are people around you who are willing to support you. Okay? There's wisdom that can be shared not only to you but by you. So we need you here. We need you to get old. We need you to share the, the gifts and, and the knowledge that you've already accumulated with the rest of us. All right? So we need you to do the work so that we can um, benefit from you sharing those experiences, showing us about faith and hope and triumph over tragedy. You can do it. And we need you to do it for yourself and for us too, Cancer. You're a warrior. You're a fighter. You're intelligent. You can stand up and be yourself. Show that warrior spirit, that conqueror. Show it to the world. You're more than a conqueror. So, Cancer, thank you so much, and I'll be talking to you again in um, October. Um, please like, please subscribe, and share, and I'll be praying for you and with you, Cancer. All right? You are loved. As usual, thank you, Alafia, amen, Ashe, peace.